after the, the game, it rained so hard. I said, he's telling me something. He's telling me. How were you able to continue to, to compete with all that adversity? I think that attitude, I think the, ad, ad, the adversity added to the to will to, to want to win and want to compete and want to get back to the Super Bowl. And I think that, sure, all the negative stuff, I think you can look at it two ways. You can you, you can let it get you depressed and believe what they're writing, or it can make you mad, and and uh, you can try to go out and get better. And that's what I always tried to do is, you know, it was always a motivational factor that when someone was saying bad, it's bad things about me or the team or whatever, that it was always motivation for me to, to want to go out there and prove them wrong. And... Uh, you know, that's where the greatest satisfaction is. You know, you you take criticism at the time, but when you turn around, you look back at what you did and what you stood by at that point in time, and you look back and you can say, you know what, I was right, and everybody else was wrong, or the people that were, some of the naysayers were wrong. I mean, there's some satisfaction in that. John, the sporting way. It's been great. I mean, the, the, you know, it's, uh, <laughs> I haven't had anybody say, you know what, you made the wrong decision, which makes me wonder. <laughs> but it's, it's, uh, it's, the response has been good. And, and uh, you know, they've all, you know, said, you know, thanks and congratulations. And, and uh, uh, so the response has been absolutely like I expected, which is great, which has been like forever here in Denver. Yeah, the rumor is that you've been hit a bunch of times in your career. But in fact, what's the biggest hit that you ever delivered yourself? Oh. Uh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't remember me ever making a hit. <laughs> uh. Wow. I can't remember. I don't know if I hit Bosworth or not. That's a guy who's wanted to hit, but. Uh. I know one thing, I, and there's another, you know, talking about taking hits, is when I got hit against Miami in the playoff game by Zach Thomas, I mean, that's when I, that's another one where I'd say, wow, these guys are too too strong and too fast for me anymore, because he it felt like he put my shoulder blade through my right ear. And I said, this is, uh, <laughs> it's getting closer. Thank God it was the playoffs. I'm it, put it this way, it would have to be an absolute, total, 100% catastrophe. And they would, if, if uh, Mike came to me and said, hey, the only guy I got that can take a snap is Mark Shreff, then I said, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'd say, okay. But uh, other than that, I'm done. Had you uh, cleaned up your locker yet? And what did you feel for? Have you avoided that? What do you think? I have been I have been in there at all, so I'll uh, uh, probably go in there next week and do that stuff. But actually, Doug cleaned it out for me. So. John. Any more questions for John Elway? Uh, in honor of, of the 16 years and the, the hundreds of uh, defensive linemen that you've drawn off sides. You may give us a final cadence. <laughs> no. No. I'll use them all up. Did you ever, now that you retired, leave kind of a normal life, go out with your family for dinner or whatever, and that's the deepest seas? You, you know what? It, it's always been pretty much that way. I think that, uh, uh, you know, we've been around for so long that, you know, Janet and the kids, it's, it's, we, can do, we can go do those type things. It, you know, it's tough to go to the zoo, it's tough to do those type things, but I, which I anticipate as time goes on we'll be able to do a little bit more of. But, uh, um, you know, I look at uh, how big my kids are and how fast they're growing and, and uh, thinking that uh, Jesse's 13, going to be out of the house in five years, that that window's getting small at the time that I can spend with them. So, um, you know, that was another factor that... Uh, but, uh, yeah, we, you know, Denver's been great to us. I mean, I know that there's, there's been comments made that uh, people believe that I've made that it kind of been blown out of proportion. Uh, sure, this town got small a little bit, but uh, um, I wouldn't have changed it. I wouldn't, there's not one thing I would have changed in what I've done um, throughout my career. And uh, just, you know, I, I've got nothing but uh, thanks for, uh, for Denver and, and really Colorado and Rocky Mountain States because they're all, they're all Bronco fans.
So, um, you know what? I'll miss the huddle. I'll miss telling Sharp to be quiet. Uh, uh, you know, <laughs> I know you're open. I know you're open. I know you're open. <laughs> Thank you for John Elwood. We'd like to ask maybe if Mike Shanahan and Pat Foley would stand next to John and we get a few photos of the three of them together. Then John's going to depart and Coach Shanahan will take questions and answers and then Pat Foley will follow Coach Shanahan. But a uh, couple of minutes here, those who want to take pictures, yeah, three of them together. On the side of the right, uh, left or right? Left. Uh, Coach Shanahan, if you'd move, move out of the podium here and uh, we'll take some photos of the three of you together.